It is March 5th, 2010. It's about 1 p.m. As you can see, we I still have quite a bit of snow on the ground. Snow packs about 18 to 20 inches deep. Be glad when this is gone. Thought I'd show you my uh, solar hot water system I got installed last year. In the back, I have two silicon solar uh, 25s. And up front here, I have a Gear Solar uh, 24 tube unit. They are all hooked in series. And they've worked uh, very well. Uh, I am pleased that I uh, mounted them on the ground in that uh, if I need to do any work on them, which I haven't so far, but if I do, they're really accessible. And I can come out here and brush the snow off and uh, they work uh, all winter. If they were up on my roof, up there, they'd be buried under snow and wouldn't be doing too much. So, uh, it's really help uh, supply hot water, uh, both for heating and, and domestic use. And I'll uh, take you inside my uh, building and show you uh, exactly how much hot water these things are putting out. Okay, uh, now I'm down inside my boiler building and uh, of course you can see it's just after 1 p.m. and uh, there's a controller for the solar system. Uh, the top temperature um, comes off the uh, one collector on the outside and the bottom temperature is uh, the tank uh, temperature. And of course, you see the red light lit, and the circulator pump to the uh, solar collectors is running. This particular controller I got off of a giant caravan. I had a really fancy one uh, just after I installed the system, and uh, I took a lightning strike, and it promptly fried it. So this one here isn't quite as fancy, but uh, it seems to be quite rugged and reliable, and uh, that's what I need out here. Uh, if you see my other videos, uh, you'll see that I have a 300 gallon storage tank. It's a converted propane tank. And that's located down here. Uh, I have firewood stacked up above it. And the one downside of the propane tank is that it, it doesn't it stratifies. It, it doesn't circulate water uh, naturally. So I wound up with a a cold end and a hot end. Uh, the heat exchanger for the solar system is down there. Uh, so I wound up putting a circulator pump from one end to the other, uh, which is located right there. And when the uh, controller turns on, it turns this pump on also and basically just stirs the tank. So essentially I have 300 gallons of water at 163 degrees. Uh, and this system will run on the daylight today till 4 o'clock and I'll come out and, and wake the boiler up and as you can see there's my wood fired boiler it is off, it has been off since about 9 o'clock this morning and uh, really helps cut down on firewood usage and uh, just makes me feel good that uh, I can live a little more uh, green and independently and of course it cuts back on uh, firewood usage. I get about uh, two, two and a half weeks uh, on each bay. It's about three quarters of a face cord. And uh, hopefully I only have to restock this one here once more and uh, I should be done for the year. As the uh, weather warms up and uh, days get longer, I'm hoping that the solar system really comes into its own and uh, takes over 90% uh, of the, the, the work. Uh, it won't be long before I have to add a uh, heat dump uh, because I just make way too much hot water and uh, there's a heat dump valve up there. Uh, as you can see it's dead ended right now and it'll head outside. I plan on uh, installing about 24 feet of uh, um, radiator pipe and I'm hopefully that will be enough to uh, dump the heat. So that's it. That's what I've been doing the past year. 
and uh, I hope all is well with you. Have fun. Bye.